So if we move on now to factorising linear equations, it's essentially the reverse of what we did with the brackets. When we factorise something, we want to remove all common factors or common multiples, and then we place the brackets in. I'll give you an example. We'll start with something relatively simple. If we had 2x plus 2y plus 2z. Now what we can see in this case is all of those terms have a multiple of 2, a common multiple of 2. So we've got 2x plus 2y plus 2z. The common multiple is 2. So if I wanted to factorise that, I would remove the common multiple or the common factor, 2, and then I would place everything that remains inside the brackets. Well, if I had 2x, but then I've taken the 2 outside of the brackets, remember we're doing the reverse of multiplying out the brackets, I would be left with x inside the brackets because 2 times x is 2x. If I did the same with a y, I've taken the 2 outside the brackets, so I would just be left with y. And exactly the same with the z, I would be left with z. So I've factorised that expression. We'll do a couple more of these. Let's say we had something along the lines of 6x plus 3y plus 9z. Well, what we need to do is we need to inspect the numbers in front of the x's. We need to inspect the coefficient of x, the coefficient of y, and the coefficient of z. And we're looking for a common multiple, the highest common multiple. Well, from inspection, hopefully you can see that the highest common multiple in this case is 3 because 6 divided by 3 is 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is just 3. There's no other common multiple in there apart from 1 itself. So we're going to take 3 outside of the brackets. If we take 3 outside of the brackets, then 6x divided by 3 is going to leave us with 2x. And 3y divided by 3 is going to just leave us y and 9z divided by 3 is just going to give us 3z. So we've factorised that expression to leave us 3 open brackets 2x plus y plus 3z. A question may ask you to combine two of the things we've done there. It may ask you to collect like terms and then factorise an expression. So we'll just do one example of these then. If we had 8x plus 6y minus 4x minus 4y. And we was asked to collect the like terms and then factorise that expression. Well, the first thing we would do is we would collect the x's together. So we've got 8x minus 4x. Well, 8x minus 4x is just 4x. We would do the same with the y's. So we've got 6y minus 4y, well 6 minus 4 is 2, so we would have plus 2y. Now if we look at this, the common factor, the thing that 4 divides by and 2 divides by, is the number 2. So we can factorise this, we can take the 2 outside the brackets. 4x divided by 2, well 4 divided by 2 is 2, so inside the brackets we'll get 2x. And then we've got plus 2y. Well, 2y divided by 2 is just y. So now we've factorised that expression. So our first step was to collect like terms. Once we'd collected like terms, we factorised the expression.